Wooly, I'm going to utter a name that I'm sure you're familiar with, but I'm going to probably be disappointed that mu much of our audience is unfamiliar with. And that name is Tim Rogers. <gasps> oh, I love Tim Rogers, dude. Tim Rogers. I learned about Tim Rogers from you and your roommate when you explained the review scale of Time to Crate. Yes, Tim Rogers. I mean, introduce it, like, bring, explain that. Time to Crate is an incredibly simple review scale. It's the amount of seconds after pressing start that you see a generic crate asset in the game. And that's the review score. It represents the moment <laughs> that the people making the game gave up utterly and entirely on a creative choice. <laughs> when you now, see a goddamn crate. Tim um, Rogers is uh, a pretentious, mad genius yes. game reviewer. I I fell in love with and discovered the work of Tim Rogers through his Katamari Damashi review, which was probably 12 pages long back in the day, of which maybe three or four paragraphs had to do with Katamari Damashi, and the 11 and a half pages had to do with coming to visit him at his flat in Tokyo <laughs> and just what a, what an experience that would be and what it's like and also rolling stuff up maybe sometimes and boy it's it's great T tim, it's just great. tim rogers has turned the seemingly unrelated non sequitur into a legitimate art form i uh, i it's free it's been well over a decade now and you know uh there's been different incarnations uh, action button, five red coins, I believe. Um, and yeah, currently just at 108 on Twitter, I want to say. What, just the number 108? On I want to say 108 on Twitter is Tim fucking Rogers. God bless. What a champ. So, Glad I he's asked still around. you, Wooly, Yes. Are you aware of the current status of the action button YouTube channel? No, I am not. I have uh, not been following. So, Tim, who, uh, uh, according to his recent video, has actually been doing quite unwell, caught corona twice. Whoa. Um, Fuck. Has been putting a lot of time in. I'm going to send you a screenshot of the current action button catalog. Tim has a Patreon up and is doing monthly at least one hour long video reviews all of which are over three hours long yeah these are insanely huge <laughs> okay me plague and peach saliva watched his doom review in which maybe 25 percent of that review has to do with doom yeah it's as still going <laughs> as he waxes poetic about the creation of Doom, yeah. how Doom got created, etc. Mm -hmm. And then dives into stories of him at his lunch table in yes. high school. <laughs> uh, how he was a Doom poser in exhaustive detail in his college years. Oh, bless. Bless. It is three hours and I want to say 15 minutes long of actual content. And then he's got the 15 minutes. It's like, oh, thank you, this person, you know, the, the Patreon stuff. Um, never legitimately stop not talking about the thing. Legitimately, one of the best videos I have ever seen on YouTube. Wow. Um, it. So I, I've been f familiar on and off with Tim Rogers, and when Paige uh, was started watching, she didn't know who tim was i'm giddy. And her, i'm giddy her first now. question was who's tim rogers and all i could say was he's this guy who's been crazy forever um and at that point in the video we got to him describing his method for reviewing doom because he wanted to review doom but how could one review doom without reviewing all of doom so he played all of Doom on multiple difficulties on every single 
commercially released version that has ever existed. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. I see. Which mm -hmm. is a lot mm -hmm. of Doom. Mm -hmm. And uh, as he, he starts to describe levels in such absurd detail, and you're like, how did you figure this out? And then he starts throwing down the scientific notation structure atlas of every second to second moment of every playthrough of his Doom runs on each platform. And he, Jesus Christ, Tim is, is so crazy. This is Tim. He is this is so crazy. You're describing peak Tim. Absolutely. That's um, the shit, man. I'm giddy. Like I haven't, I haven't seen the newest stuff. I have, like again, it's just <laughs> memories of the text reviews back in the day and a couple of video things in between. But I am very excited and, to and, go and, watch and this. And like the 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 culmination of that massive amount of work of going over every version of Doom that's ever existed yeah. is to actually just tell a story about him hanging out with American McGee in Tokyo. Yep. Yep. Sounds good. Sound like it is <laughs> like it is hyperbolic. I... It is nonsense. It is yep. genius. It is incredible. I I fucking love it. There is just there's just this like it's like it's so entertaining in its like meander and pretentiousness and at the same time just i don't know like i said i remember trying yeah i was trying to pitch you on it and like uh uh yeah shmup god pat was the only other person who was like oh yeah no i'm in there you fucking read that shit that's some good shit there's no one else writing like it you know um i i i don't know if like being like hunter s thompson ish is like an intended thing or not i don't know i can't say for sure all i know is uh i fucking super super very much enjoy someone in the chat asks is he self-aware though i would describe tim as almost cripplingly self-aware <laughs> uh yes 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 yeah no uh, you know and one of the reasons his stories are so bizarre is because apparently and he describes in the doom video that he suffers from a rare neurological condition which gives him a perfect eidetic memory of events uh-huh which explains why he can't help but ramble on into nonsense non sequiturs at every opportunity like I don't know how to describe it when you're reading a review about something and then you get caught up in the journey and then like seven pages later, the game comes back up and you just fucking pop off like, yeah, yeah, like there, there it is. is. We made it back. There is a 232 to th – there is a 28-minute long section of this review of Doom which is longer than most YouTube videos, that is nothing but reviewing Edge Magazine's review of Doom. Oh. Okay. All right. So this is, this is the action button Doom review. So he's doing one of these a month. And the funniest thing is that we watched Doom review first, and then we immediately, the night that we finished it, the three of us hopped on to the FF7 remake review because he's got three out. He's got mm -hmm. FF7 remake, he's got mm -hmm. Last of Us, and he's mm -hmm. got Doom, and he says he's got 37 more planned, and they will be one a month. And in the FF7 remake review, he describes how because the, the review of the remake is so complex and re involves not just that new game but the old one as well it's going to be uncharacteristically long and that future versions will likely not be as long but he guarantees at least one hour reviews a month and then all three of them blast through the 180 minute mark okay okay yes <laughs> I, I, the, I the doom one was written while on while sick from corona and it's three and a half hours long. 
I mean, it's kind of crazy to think about, like, I, I, I don't know, like, the era of insertcredit.com was, like, so long ago, but, like, if you, it, like, this, people nowadays, people that we're talking to right now, being introduced to, like, content from that fucking yesteryear of video game like literally like 15 years ago i was uh, told by you about tim rogers i'm very i'm very happy for people to get a chance to take a crack at this because yeah games in the games in the <laughs> what would you call it gaming during the the uh clinton, the clinton administration <laughs> yeah <laughs> right <laughs> it's uh it's a fucking mood man it's a mood um uh, so anyway, yeah, there's there's it, it, something about that too, by the way, it, where you're saying like he played every version of Doom on every single person and uh, on every version possible, and then I'm thinking about how um, uh, Adam played or rather watched every fucking Kimba the Lion thing that he could, yeah. and then that oh. other video where the dude was like, "Yo, I fucking." went through everything Kirby related ever and you're just like this this current trend of people on YouTube killing themselves to do the most complete hey, review hold, ever. hold on a second I I can get this from a primary source hey Paige huh? how much time did it take Adam to go through all that Kimba oh my god just hours and hours we we he and I watched it for four days straight 24 <laughs> hours a day 24 hours a day, Kimba. Like, I don't know. He said like, months. In in the video, yeah, he, he said months of his life. And that was with me. Yeah, and that was at what? A, what was that, a film festival? Oh, my God. It was all... It, <laughs> it was like, oh, we hung out for three weeks straight, and it was 24-7 Kimba. 24-7 <laughs> Kimba. I know everything about Kimba the Lion now. Mm, suspicious. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. But, like... You just and you just like absolutely deteriorating your life in yeah, order the, to, yeah, to get the, 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 the most complete statement out, which is in his case at the end, this is not a fucking uh, uh, the, the Lion the Lion King comparison is not what you think it is. And this shit is it's fucked. You know, this entire narrative uh, 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 is wildly different and crazy. Yeah, you, um, you, you finish the Tim Rogers review of Doom and you get to the end and he's like, Doom's really good and it's important. Yeah. Um, I'm glad we had to go on this journey to understand that. Or or <laughs> uh, um, I read a every Halo book and now I'm the Master Chief of Loneliness. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it's like these, these this, this new found, like, just destroy your life for your craft, you know. Well, think of how much research and rewatching had to have possibly gone into like the Plinket reviews. Right, right, right. Like right. just editing that together, like holy shit. Um, that last one, just to give uh, full credit. Uh. Da -da 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 BDG. Shit, one second. Ah, lost in the links. Oh, God. <sighs> okay. Well, Brian David Gilbert. So, yeah, I I, uh, I have the utmost respect for, like, reviews that, like, take a chunk of your life bar away. <laughs> you know, permanently. Um, incredible. Incredible. Uh, very excited for the new Tim Rogers joint. That new heat. And it says a lot about the, I don't know what to call it, the following that Tim has amassed, that Action Button, the YouTube channel, uh, is the type of YouTube channel that is completely failed by the algorithm. Mm -hmm. it, has 26, it has 27K subs. And each of those reviews tops out at about 170, despite being like four months old. Mm -hmm. So 170k. Mm -hmm. But his Patreon is crushing it at like 12k a month. Because yeah. people want to see that shit. 
Yeah, no, welcome to Mega64 on YouTube having a fraction of what they should have because they were too early to the game and they fucking crushed it too hard in the pre-YouTube days. So by the time things came back around, it was like, yeah, people were already familiar, but they were just doing it through their own website, you know? Um, mm -hmm. I want to say same thing for Fensler Films as well. Like, these things that just... Too big, Fensler should be a millionaire. Too big, too early. And it's it's criminal. It's fucking criminal. Because, like, yeah, Mega64 is just like, that should be an empire, you know? uh the, the 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 timing of what they were doing and when they were doing it and everyone fucking knows them they just they just didn't have that algorithm they didn't have the youtube they didn't have that spread in the in the way because you just have to go to their site and click their videos you know the um but yes uh all of that is, is is great but yeah anyway so you can check our shit out um too i guess it's nowhere near as good as what we're talking about but uh that is our weeks. Yeah, that's the week. Let's take a quick look uh, from our sponsors. Uh, I've lost my fatty pig dog. <laughs> 